Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are making venison roast dinner. I received a beautiful piece of meat from my friend this morning. So I thought, perfect, I'm gonna do venison roast dinner. We are going to the garden, have a look what we can harvest there, what goes with the meal. Also, I got a couple of handful of these mixed peppers out of the freezer, but we flash freeze them, froze last year together from our last year's homegrown peppers. We've got the already chopped up onion, so we've got the venison, we've got some garlic, but this is for another project. We've got potatoes for chips, we've got some freeze-dried tomatoes, and I'm just gonna gather the rest of the ingredients and let's get cooking. I was thinking what we can use from the fridge. We've got some leftover mashed potato. You know, the squash, creme last onion, mashed potato from yesterday's dinner. So we can have a little bit of that. We do, I've got three sweet potatoes from the shop when I bought six to, you know, to buy for shoots. So I've used up three for shoots on a windowsill and got three left so I thought we can we can use that up one of that as a chips so we have potato sweet potato chips the leftover mash we can have we're gonna go and harvest purple sprouting broccoli in the garden in a minute and we also in my pantry looking around what we can have and I thought we can have carrot with a meal and um, I picked some spicy plum sauce. I thought we can maybe marinate the meat with it or pour it over as like a gravy. And I've also got another condiment, the cowboy candy, that sweet chili jalapeno flavor. So yeah, I am just making this recipe up as we go. I try to use up anything from my pantry, freezer, garden and anything what I've been blessed with. See you back in the kitchen. Well, it is 6th of March today, so these garlic actually lasted quite good, but they now... Or maybe I've got a few good ones left, but the rest, they started to shoot, and the smaller ones are now really showing some shoots. So what I'm gonna do now before I lose them all, because I don't want to plant this out, I've got plenty in a garden. It's, it's going to be a big job because it's probably a double amount of this still in the annex. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to peel all this garlic, I'm going to chop it up in a fr fruit food processor and we're going to freeze it in ice, cu ice cube trays. And then we just flash freeze it and put it back in a Ziploc bag. And in this way, anytime we need garlic to any meal, I can just grab a few out of the freezer and we don't waste this rest now because as long as longer I leave this in the annex now that will all start sh shooting and basically we're just gonna lose it. So but this is another project I'm gonna do this along like you know when we waiting in some cooking or something. So I'm probably gonna start start peeling this garlic first and then I'm gonna think about what's gonna be the first step to making this venison. So this is the meat, looking good. So I'm either going to marinate this in my spicy plum sauce. The plum's been picked from our garden and we've used my favorite preserving book to make this. I cannot wait to try this, to be honest. I'm not sure if I've tried this before, I can't remember. So yeah, and the pepper as well. That's the first time I'm trying it. Smells delicious, honestly. It smells just like out of the garden. So we're gonna have some freezer vegetables or fruit so we can have some freeze-dried and can. So we're gonna in mix use all of the goodness from last year's garden. So the potatoes is from not the sweet potato, that's from, as I've explained, that's from the shop, but the potatoes are from last year's garden. Tomatoes, carrot and the peppers are from last year's garden, onion from last year's garden, venison from a farmer friend. 
and also the cowboy candy it's from last year's garden so amazing now i'm just thinking what spices shall we grab to make this meal let's have a think So that's what I have done with these onions. These are my last fresh onions from last year, but they started to shoot. So I've decided to just uh, peel all, cut it, slice it, and keep it in the fridge in a Ziploc bag, just like that. And the next couple of weeks, I'm just going to use it up in my cooking. I do love cooking with lots of onions. And this is my last fresh onions until this year's. So, uh, about a couple of handful, maybe a couple of uh, cups of onions I'm gonna use. I've decided to dice this meat. So I'm gonna like dice it and I'm going to probably gonna do it on the top in a frying pan. I'm gonna put some lard, onion, the meat, I'll put the peppers, tomatoes in there with some salt and pepper major I'm not I'm not gonna use lots of spice and I'm probably gonna use half of this spice plum sauce in it and maybe we'll see how spicy this is we're gonna try it in a minute and then we're gonna use this as well in a meal and I think that will make an amazing like a venison stew and what we can serve with the mashed chips and steam the broccoli and the carrot. Let's get cooking. Sunday is on a chair. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place this meat in here. Uh, I've got the gun and I'm just going to dice this meat. Ah, it's quite a nice chunk of meat. Just going to Dice it like a bite, bite size, like this size. Well, actually, while we're dicing this, I think I'm gonna get going the lard in a frying pan with the onion. This has got about two tablespoons of lard. I'm going to melt this slightly. Just heat the frying pan up. And then we're going to add the onion. Give it a good stir in every couple of minutes. And then let's go translucent before we add the venison. Okay, the onion is now nice and brown, translucent. I'm going to add the venison. And I'm just going to brown the venison until it turns color before we add the rest of the vegetables. It's already looking delicious. Okay, let's open up the cowboy candy. Oh, it smells good. 
and a spicy plum sauce. Let's have a taste test. Let's start with the plum sauce. Amazing. Wow. Sweet. Chili. Beautiful. I'll save the cowboy candy. Spicy, sweet, and very chilly. Oh, beautiful. I'm not gonna use too much of this. <laughs> right. Try to open this jar. Let's try again. <coughs> Can't do it. Right. We need some help with this freeze dried tomato jar to open. I can't do it. I'm just gonna give this to the pepper and put some sauce over it. But while we'll be waiting, let's see if I can open this. Probably not. Let me grab something. Let's try this. Oops. This sealed so well. <laughs> Come do it. Oh, he's outside. Right. Oh, good. Okay, we've got this open. Let's have a taste test. Let's taste this canned carrot. Mmm. Amazing. We're just gonna drain this and then serve this, really. I feel the potatoes and somehow I need to open This jar. Hey, you've done it. Right. Okay, back to business. So let's pour maybe a cup of this freeze dried tomato. Let's have a taste test. Probably I'm gonna be full by dinner time. Oh. Salt, garlic, basil, tomatoes. Mmm, that is delicious. Wow, boom in my mouth. Right, so look at these colors. Okay, let's pour not too much of this cowboy candy. Maybe two tablespoons for now. And half of this sauce. This sauce is amazing. I'll leave this sauce as like a gravy. And we're gonna put this all over the venison roast dinner. I I tried to learn how to de rehydrate uh, freeze dried food back. So the reason I've done all this just to try to dehydrate that freeze dried tomatoes in this sauce and a bit of the liquid that the frozen pepper gave us. So let's give it a five ten minutes. And we're going to add this to the venison behind me. Also, we're going to add the major rum, salt, and pepper. Right. I think we're doing really well. What I'm going to do next, I think I'm going to peel the potatoes. I'm going to make chips. I think I'm going to put the sweet potatoes and the potatoes to the active fry. It's already in half an hour in there. It's just a, I'm gonna use the avocado spray, just give a couple of spray and maybe just a sprinkle of salt. Well, actually, I'm just gonna put this in here because that's gonna be my compost. I always put the potato peels in my compost bin. I cannot wait to show you all the seeds. Most of the seeds are now up. And we're gonna do so much potting on. So it's yeah, very exciting.
I am amazed how well these potatoes store. This particular one, what I'm peeling now, is the Charlotte. It's actually second early potato, but it stores so well. This one is the Cara, I think I'm peeling now. That's the main crop. Talking about potatoes, within end of the month, we are going to put the first dirties in the ground, so I better get out and get the ground ready. I think I've got one more and that's enough. Just for two of us today. Perfect. The venison is browning away nicely behind us. I'm just cutting this with like a chunky chips size. I'm just gonna rinse it. Dry it with paper towel. Sprinkle of salt, spray it with avocado oil, and that is ready to go to the active fry. And we need to pop out and harvest the broccoli. And we have to steam the broccoli, and I think. We're good. So everything homegrown in here, part of this one sweet potato. What I think it's amazing. Okay, the venison is browning lovely. Gorgeous already. I think we're ready to put the rest of the ingredients. So the peppers and the tomatoes with jalapeno candy and spiced plum sauce are all in. A sprinkle of majoram and some salt. And pepper. That looks good. Look at this. So I'll give it a good stir and let this cook nicely. I'll probably stir in every five minutes and then we're gonna have a taste test. Because I think nothing else going in now. I think that's it. I think I've got everything in here now. I wanted. I just made this dish up. It looks good. Okay, I wash the potatoes. I'm just gonna towel dry it. Paper towel. Just like that. And I'm gonna put a sprinkle of salt. Some avocado oil. Give it a good mix. And this can go to the active fry for I reckon about 25 30 minutes. I think I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of whey. Welcome to the garden. I can't see you because the sun is just right in front of me. I hope you can see me. So next to me here is my two tunnel of brassica, purple sprouting brassica. Let's see if we can harvest some brassica today to go with our venison stew dinner. Weeding, but look at this broccoli! Wow, it looks 
looks amazing. Let's harvest some. Look at this. No, I think that's enough. We have to come back next couple of days and give it a good tidy up and weed. But let's go steam these beauties. Let's have a taste test. Mmm. That is really lovely. A little bit spicy. Sweetness of the pepper, spiciness of the cowboy candy, and the spiced plum sauce. I can taste that lovely, juicy venison. Yeah, and overall, I think we've just made a very delicious meal in here. Okay. I've picked the broccoli, let's steam the broccoli next. I'll just show you how beautiful purple this is. And this will turn green in the process of steaming. Let's put some salt in the water, put it in a basket, and put the lid back on. in here so we can make some lovely bread. Let's heat up the dish. I always bake my bread in this cast iron dish with the lid. So heat this first. This is done now so I'm going to take the venison stew off. Okay. Can you see me? I'm just going to score. Oops. <laughs> Let's tidy up my mess. It's good job it's all water. Okay. I'm going to score this. Just like that. Let's make a nice. Button. That's it. I'll give it five minutes, five to ten minutes, that dish to warm up in my roasting oven, and we are going to put the bread in. Okay, let's get the garlic peeling project going. So, just put the alarm on for the bread. I just put the bread in the oven. I'm going to put it for 45 minutes and we'll check on it for 45 minutes. Okay, so I've got my compost bin right here in front of me and let's do this. I think first of all I'm going to just peel them, take them apart a single clove, make that skin off. And then we're gonna peel it. I try to peel as much as I can until it's dinner time. Blitz it in a food processor and we're going to put it in an ice cream tray. 
And if it's no problem if you can't do all today, there is always tomorrow. There's another project we need to do in the annex, but I love the apple cider vinegar. I cannot wait to taste that apple cider vinegar. It's been there now for six months, I think. So that should be now really good. I'll, I'll give apple cider vinegar for our animals as well. The goats and the chickens have it in their drinking water. Just a little bit. Same to ourselves. We have it as well. I need to keep my eye on that broccoli behind me. Start with this lovely large cloves. It's really flush here. I think we're gonna have a good year this year with the elephant garlic. So that's a super exciting project. It's gonna be to harvest that and process. I really enjoy growing garlic and onion and elephant garlic. Oh shoot. wrong way. Come on. So um, I really enjoy freeze drying the garlic and the onions and making garlic and onion powder. Our broccoli is done. Magic! It's all green now. <laughs> Let that butter melt. garlic in this silicon ice cube tray and I'm going to freeze it, pop it out of these ice cube trays tomorrow, put it in a ziplock bag and whenever we need to cook with some garlic it's gonna be all ready for us there and we need to do some more very soon. Okay, our dinner is ready. Venison stew. Let's have a taste test. Looking really good. So good. That is delicious. Thank you so much to spending time with me to cook in all this that beautiful meal in my kitchen today. And see you very soon. Bye friends. Good morning friends. It is the next day and I've just took this garlic out of the freezer what we've processed yesterday so what I'm doing now I'm just popping out I love these silicon ice cube trays to pop out usually use this I never really use this now for uh, water because obviously garlic's been in there and all sorts I usually put when I make my curry cubes and stuff so it's, it's spicy 
smelling cube tray, but it's perfect for my preservation project. So it's so easy just to, because it's got, you know, it's soft, so it's so easy to pop all these cubes out, garlic cubes, and I've already labeled as fresh garlic because that's what it is, my uh, freezer bag. And after I've popped out all of the garlic cubes from the silicone trays, I'm just going to put one by one in a Ziploc bag, zip it and put it back to the freezer. In this case, anytime I need garlic in my cooking I just take one cube out so that saves me time and we would have otherwise would have wasted all this lovely garlic now because they were going they were sprouting so and this is now ready to go back to the freezer